All right, we're here in the Human Anatomy and Physiology Labs at Ohio University. This is Professor Klein coming at you. Today we're gonna to look at the renal and male reproductive model. So if you zoom on in, let's take a look. Uh, first off, first and foremost, this is the kidneys here. We can see a kidney on either side. Uh, check out the kidney video uh, for a more detailed description of it, but you can also see the suprarenal or adrenal glands that sit on top of the kidneys. Well, let's track the ureter, which is this tube, down to the bladder. So the ureter takes the urine down to the bladder, and from the bladder, the urethra, which is very hard to see, but if you look on the side here, it's through this area, and then the middle of the penis, and out. So when we next see the urethra, it's actually the spongy urethra. As you pass through the bladder, the prostate is directly underneath. So this prostate, this glass circle, and as the urethra passes through there, that's the prosthetic urethra. Once you hit this membrane, the urethra becomes the membranous urethra and then spongy. The penis has the corpus cavnerosum, which is the purple part on the top, and the corpus spongiosum, or the blue tissue surrounding the urethra itself. Glans penis is the end of the penis right here. And then as we see a more posterior view, we can see things like the bulb of the penis and the crust. So the crusts are these two parts coming off to the side. But we also have the male reproductive parts, including the testes. So these are the testes here, one on either side, producing the sperm in the somniferous tubules with the epididymis on top, epididymis on top, with a head, body, and then a tail. We'll move the, move the sperm out of the way here, so this would be a sperm. From the tail, it travels up the vas deferens, or ductus deferens, and actually enters into the urethra at the prosthetic urethra. Through that process, things called the seminal vesicles, these right here on either side, will produce about 70% of an alkaline solution to neutralize the acidity within the urethra. The prostate secretes about 30% of that solution. And then these things right here are the bulbo-urethral glands, the yellow circles, also called the Cowper's gland, which secretes 5%, all trying to neutralize any sort of acidity to keep the sperm alive. And then it travels out the same pathway and leaves the body. That's your demonstration. Thank you.